The Des Moines Register's 43rd annual Rag Bri is coming to Cedar Falls and the University of Northern Iowa, making its fourth stop in Cedar Falls on Wednesday, July 22nd. As an overnight stop, you and I in the community will host thousands of participants, which is a perfect opportunity to share civic pride and invite visitors to come again. The stop is expected to provide an income boost of approximately $3 million. On April 30th, Cedar Falls Ragbri and you and I held a press conference at the Cedar Falls Tourism Bureau to announce some of the details for this year's stop. Um, the, maybe the, the moment you've been waiting for, except we're all wearing it on our shirts now. Yeah. Um, we, but we haven't announced it publicly anywhere yet. Um, this is the first time it's been visible. Is our theme and our logo. Our theme is it's all downhill from here. And our logo uh, reflects that. Uh, some of you might recognize the little bicycle figure. He is a carryover from almost 20 years ago now. He was done as a piece of art for a Tourism and Visitors Bureau. Um, it's on the mugs that Kim has over there, and they've used it extensively. And we included it in the 2007 Ragbri logo, and we made work of it again this time. So you and I is very, very excited uh, to host everybody uh, on the 22nd of July. Uh, the parking lots, the fields, the, the open spaces, will be full. We are very excited at the university to, to host people, to feed people, to entertain people. With the location being announced, Cedar Falls and UNI police and public safety officers express their concerns for the routes that will be taken by riders and motorists. For the two days that they're here, July 22nd when they come in and then July 23rd as they're leaving, I'm gonna just read the route so I don't forget something. Basically, they're gonna leave Eldora and they're gonna come into New Hartford. The riders will enter Black Hawk County from New Hartford using T-55 and then east on Beaver Valley Road or C-67, then south on Union, okay, uh, T-75. And they're actually gonna come across Highway 57 at First Street. Uh, we will have officers there and they'll continue uh, southbound on Union Road to 27th Street and then they'll turn eastbound on 27th Street and that's where it'll end as far as that. If you are planning to travel that way, we suggest that you find alternate routes for that day because they will probably start coming in around nine o'clock in the morning and they're supposed to be in camp by six o'clock. So uh, the next morning, we will, they will exit uh, Cedar Falls by going, using Hudson Road. Now, because of where some of the campgrounds are located, they will be University Avenue from college to Hudson's also gonna have congestion. And again, we ask for alternate routes. And they'll start leaving around three o'clock in the morning. We will have it coned off. Uh, it'll be the outside lane for bicyclist only. One of the benefits to being an overnight location is the Cedar Valley entertainment the community can enjoy. We're gonna have actually two venues. We're gonna have a, a, an afternoon venue and an evening venue. We're gonna start off in the afternoon venue with one of Iowa's great singer-songwriters, Carla Ruth, and we're gonna uh, follow up right after that with an, uh, a, a, an Iowa Hall, a Rock and Roll and Blues Hall of Fame uh, member, Joe, Pri Joe and Vicki Price. Then uh, after that, uh, a great local band, uh, Dylan Sires and Neighbors are gonna follow up after that. And we're gonna close out with a Cedar Valley classic, somebody, a band that's played in every Cedar Falls rag bry, uh, Bob Doerr and the Blue Band. One of the things that we're doing differently than 2007 is that all of the entertainment will be centrally located on the University of Northern Iowa campus. So this will be a great opportunity for people after they've gotten off the ride for a while. They can come and enjoy entertainment during the afternoon, grab a bite to eat, and then hopefully enjoy what we have uh, aligned up for them for the, for the evening. So the first uh, band that will start off the the evening stage will be the Devin Worley Band. Uh, following them will be uh, one of the Cedar Valley's uh, original bands, and that's the New Black Seven. And then following them as our headliner for this year, tribute rock band uh, Hairball. And of course, none of this would be possible without the help of the community. Cedar Falls Ragbri is calling for volunteers. We do need lots of volunteers. We had about 1,000 volunteers in 2007 and they performed all kinds of jobs from helping in the information tent to helping host in the campgrounds. They rode the shuttle buses to provide information to visitors. Um, they sold beer in the beer garden. They um, helped vendors set up. They did all kinds of things. So we need lots of people to help that day and the next morning. Um, so if you're interested in doing that, sign up at 
uh, cedarfallsregbride.org.